Good win at uh, Colorado State. I thought our team demonstrated a great deal of toughness, uh, competitive spirit, uh, poise uh, in uh, obviously handling adversity in that situation. We got down 17-3 late in the third quarter and uh, found a way to get back in the game and, and uh, you know, credit our players doing a great job of, of uh, continuing to fight and, uh, you know, play uh, at a high level. Same with the coaches. You know, I thought our coaching staff did a nice job of not panicking and just uh, continuing to stay the course. and and uh, finding a way to win the game. So it was a you know conference win, road win, a uh, great way to start conference play. Um, individually, you know, offensively, uh, Terrence Kane had a very productive evening. He had well over 300 yards in total offense. Uh, did a great job, particularly in the second half uh, with the football and managing the offense and, and uh, his execution level. Uh, Eddie White, over 100 yards, that was big for us. David Reed, nine catches for uh, over 140 yards. And the offensive line. The offensive line did an outstanding job. That Colorado State team going in had been given up somewhere in the neighborhood of 85 yards a game rushing. It had been very tough against the run, and we managed uh, 209 yards rushing. And that really was one of the primary uh, reasons for our victory was our ability to run the football. Uh, defensively, uh, outstanding performances. Obviously, Robert Johnson, Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week. His three interceptions in successive uh, possessions really uh, was the, the primary difference in the game. Um, you know, just a tremendous athlete. And, uh, you know, when you figure you only have five or six possessions in the second half, there are 11 possessions total for each football team. When you take uh, three of those and, and uh, you know, end them with interceptions, that's a big advantage for us. And so, so Robert played uh, his best game uh, of the season for sure, and uh, maybe his best game as a Ute. Uh, kicking game was subpar. That was one area that was not uh, up to uh, our standards. That was our poorest performance overall uh, in the special teams to this point in the season, and we got to get that fixed. But uh, you know, it was a positive outing. Um, it was uh, you know a homecoming for Colorado State, so there was a you know a, a, a crowd there that uh, we had to uh, overcome, and the weather and so, several other things. And our guys did a good job handling that. Uh, injury report: uh, Really, there's only four guys of note. Uh, Lay Talamavio will not be available this week. He'll be another. Uh, you know, hopefully, optimistically, we're looking at Air Force, but but uh, we'll make that determination next week. Walter Watts will be out as well. Same situation as Lay. We hope that uh, we can get him back for Air Force, but we'll uh, we'll get you updated next week. And then uh, uh, Shaky, we we feel he's going to be able to play this week. It's probable. It's not certain, but uh, as of right now, we think he's going to be able to be back. And Shaq will play. So those are the four guys that uh, really have anything of significance going on. Uh, looking ahead to UNLV, you know, it's another road game, another conference game. Um, you know, UNLV's had some tough losses as of late, but, uh, you know, I still maintain they got uh, good skilled people on offense. They're able to put points on the board. They're averaging nearly 30 points a game. And, uh, you know, we got to go down there and play well. We all know what happened two years ago. Uh, it was, a, you know, a situation where we uh, did not play very well at all and, and came out, uh, you know, really getting uh, – uh, a devastating loss, and so we got to uh, be ready to go and, and uh, have our minds right and have a great week of practice. Well, if Shaq's 100 percent, you know we, we, he's still, uh, you know, kind of an unknown commodity. You know, he hasn't played a lot of ball for us. We really are high on his potential and what we think he can bring to the table. But uh, you know, Eddie's still going to be the lead ball carrier. That's not going to change. And then between Shaq and Shaky, you know, we've got to find another 15 to 20 carries there for them to to pick up the slack. Now, Terrence has been running the ball very effectively as well. You know, he's, I was looking at the numbers today, he's the sixth leading rusher in the conference as a QB, and, and, uh, and so he's really done a nice job of adding to the run game. But, but uh, it's just going to be a matter of uh, production between Shaky and Shaq, who ends up being that next guy. Right now, they're on equal footing, and we'll see who is the more efficient back. Coach, what was the difference in the last three drives that you were, the offense was able to finish those drives as opposed in the first three quarters of the game, you get across midfield and drives seem to stall. Yeah, just execution and poise. You know, I think that, well, I know, you know, in the first half particularly, we moved the ball well. We had almost 200 yards at half and only three points to show for it. And so, uh, you know, we found ways to, to mess the drives up, whether it be by penalty, a, a couple turnovers. Uh, you know, we just, uh, you know, kept shooting ourselves in the foot and, and credit Colorado State. I mean, they, they did a nice job finding a way out of drives. But, but the bottom line was in the second half, particularly in those drives you're mentioning, we just, uh, you know, we just continued to execute and didn't, uh, you know, didn't find a way to, to uh, make the drive stall. Kyle, what's your reaction to being back in the AP Top 25? I didn't know that till last night because we really don't pay a lot of attention to that at this point in time. 
Um, you know, a positive is, as you, you know, as you see the scores flash by on ESPN and that, they usually focus on the top 25, so it gives you a little more time on the screen, which is a big positive. But, but uh, you know, we've still got a lot of football left, and we understand that if we take care of our business, things like the rankings, they'll take care of themselves. But, uh, you know, it's a positive. We're not going to sit here and say we wish we weren't ranked because that's not true, but uh, we don't dwell on it. Can you talk about um, just Robert and his playmaking ability? Do you put your finger on anything in anticipation that he has that's maybe different from other players or anything like that? Well, he's got a couple things going for him. Number one is his athleticism. He's an extremely athletic kid. He's got uh, you know excellent speed and uh, agility. Uh, secondly, he's got great instincts. You know, he has, has a great he has a great feel for reading the quarterback, reading his eyes, and getting a break on the ball. You know, because he plays even faster than his 40 time indicates because of the break he gets on the football. And then thirdly, he's a great preparer. You know, Monday through Friday, he's watching film. He's doing everything uh, study-wise that he should be doing to get himself ready for a game. He practices well. So he handles his business Monday through Friday. He's fast, and he's got great instincts. Those are really the three things that make him successful. And then last thing, you just talk about Eddie Wide. He obviously came through the way you hoped he would. He did. Eddie Wide, uh, that's the exact type of game that we need from Eddie each week, you know, 17 carries, which is right, you know, 16 to 18 carries in that range is, is uh, where we feel his capabilities are. And, uh, you know, he was uh, upwards of five yards a carry again. And, you know, the thing that hurt us in the run game, I think we might have been even more productive had Shaky not gone down. We had a package in place for him that, uh, you know, he was expected to get 10 or 12 carries. And, you know, the, the one uh, carry he had when he was healthy, the, the sweep, he, you know, he gained, uh, you know, what, 20-something yards. And so uh, that was something that we really kind of had to scramble and, and uh, revise our thinking a little bit when he went down.